Hello and welcome back to Haltech TV. Today we're going to be doing a video review on the CM Storm Pitch Headphones by Cooler Master. Now this is from their gaming range, the CM Storm range, and their in-ear headphones. Uh, so they're the first in-ear headphones that Cooler Master have done in their gaming range. So let's go in and take a look at how they came out. So here we have not only the headphones but also the two main accessories that come with this product. Uh, so this is the headset which comes with a four pole jack and then you get the adapter because this is a gaming headset so it is designed to be used with the PC. Uh, you get a converter there to convert it uh, from a four pole to a three pole jack for both headphone and microphone because this does come with a microphone on it. Not only that but you also get your a little carrying pouch there as well. Now this carrying pouch, we're going to cover this first, this is a kind of a rubbery um, plastic feel and it is closed at the top uh, via two uh, kind of metal sheets. It's not magnetic um, but it's just tension really that, that holds it down uh, so um, you, yeah it's a nice bag, good quality, and it's, uh, while it's not a hard pouch, it's going to do the job. Uh, and they are in-ear headphones, so it's not it's not it's not like a, a headband headset where you you want the hard pouch because otherwise you might snap a headphone off. This is really going to do the job. Uh, other than that, we have this jack connector, this adapter, uh, which converts like I said, the four pole connector into two three pole connectors. Now the sample that we've received was slightly faulty in that uh, this portion does come off uh, but that will be covered in the retail product so uh, do keep that in mind that this isn't fully representative of the uh, full retail product as this is fixed in the manufa manufacturing process. Uh, but yeah, so these cappuccino slash grey-ish um, looking portions are made of metal and they do make the product overall feel and look um, a lot more expensive and a lot higher quality than it actually costs because these retail at around £25 at the moment at the point of making this video and it's with the accessories and everything involved it does feel a lot more expensive uh, so yeah let's cover the headphones now so yeah moving on to the headphones we have 10 millimeter drivers in this inside these headphones but i'm going to cover that in the performance section of this video um, so for now we're just going to cover the design and the bold quality of these headphones so starting off with the drivers themselves we normally cover the connector first but in this video we're going to cover the um, the drivers or the, the earbuds. Uh, so in the same manner that we had on the adapter the cappuccino grey um, portions of the earphones are made of metal again and the bolt quality on these portions are fantastic. I've used these quite a lot in the past few weeks and I haven't got any scratches on them at all even though I've used them quite heavily and it's um, in a variety of locations so uh, yeah they in, in terms of build quality not only is it metal but it's also quite scratch resistant uh, meaning that they're gonna look good and they're gonna look good for a long time but that being said on the end these are metallic plastic which is not the best um, way to go if you want something to look high quality metallic plastic normally uh, in most cases will look cheap. I, I do think that they have pulled it off on this particular headset but I wouldn't recommend they go down that route again in the future. But you do have the CM Storm logo there on the, the end uh, to give it a nice uh, gaming look. Now without covering anything else on that because th there really isn't any need to uh, this rubber section here, what this does is it will move the cable out of the ear because these do go quite far in, uh, being that they are in-ear headphones. So this little portion will just make sure that not only is the cable uh, secured to the uh, earbuds themselves, but it also makes sure that the cable gets all the way out of your ear uh, and doesn't get caught 
uh, on anything. So yeah, that is the earbuds. From there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put them down and we're gonna cover this bit, which is on the left cable um, for the left earbud. So this is your microphone and voice dialing slash play pause button. Uh, so you've got your microphone on this side uh, hidden in the CM Storm um, writing or written kind of logo there. Um, and then on the other side we have obviously the voice dialing button uh, which I personally feel is about as good as you're going to get out of a button on any kind of uh, headset. So, yeah, that's that's really all there is to say. I mean, you you have the four pole, three and a half millimeter jack down here, but that's exactly the same as uh, the jacks that we've covered already. Now, it is a straight jack; it's not a right angle jack, which does mean uh, that this is going to lower the life of the headphones because this is where uh, you're going to notice fraying on the internal cable uh, due to the tension put on, on the cable bending. Um, but other than that, it looks good, it's high quality, and I do expect that uh, you aren't gonna notice any problems from the jack itself. If anything, uh, the only problems you are gonna see is uh, if you do bend the cable uh, by putting it in your pocket um, without really taking any care. Uh, so yeah, that's that's really all there is to see. So let's move on to the performance. So to move on to performance, I've got them in the bag here uh, just to protect them. Now, when it comes to in-ear gaming headphones, it's kind of a a weird area of the market because the issue with in-ear headphones is that they don't really provide that much of a sound stage. They provide quite a small sound stage due to the fact that they're quite small drivers and the fact that they're really really close to your ears so they don't uh, really have the opportunity to either be an open style headphone and they don't have that gap between your ear and the driver um, to be able to work with so they do provide quite a small sound stage um, now the issue with this is that in gaming headphones you do really kind of want that large sound stage to really differentiate from different sounds within the game and it, it's the kind of thing that you will get from very high quality high-end headphones and the whole point in gaming headphones is that they kind of provide that soundstage at a much lower price point than you would get from you know the same quality um, but high-end headphones designed for things like music where uh, they take a lot more into account and, and really general headphones for that matter. Um, now with the CM Storm Pitch being kind of a venture into the gaming market with in-ear headphones, I don't really feel that they uh, really got away from the in-ear stereotype and it does provide quite a small sound stage. But that being said, uh, the lows were still punchy and they were definitely clear. Uh, you got crisp highs and the mid-range was never overwhelmed by either the low-end or high-end um, frequencies. But the only issue that I came across with these particular headphones was at high volumes. And that's when the bass started to muddy a little. Uh, the mid-range started to get a little overpowered from the other end. Uh, and then obviously the high end started to go a little fuzzy. Now, in overall, the CM Storm Pitch provide kind of a, a, warm, uh, a warm sound. And it's just, it's my kind of, um, my kind of sound that they provide. Uh, very similar in fact to the MDR XB 400s that I recently reviewed from Sony. Uh, I almost couldn't tell the difference between these headphones and the other headphones when I wasn't directly comparing them. Now when I obviously directly compared them the only real difference uh, was as I've already discussed was on the sound stage uh, with the MDR XB 400s providing quite an impressive soundstage considering that they are on-ear rather than over-ear headphones and so they only have 40 millimeter drivers. But overall I was very, very impressed with the CM Storm Pitch, especially for the price. You get amazing build quality and you get a really, really nice sound coming out from them. Uh, now obviously compared to maybe 100 pound headphones, they might not be up there in terms of quality and in terms of performance. 
uh, but I I almost feel as if you're getting double um, your money's worth when it comes to these headphones and so we did give them our uh, silver award uh, with a 17.5 out of 10 um, and yeah I, I can't recommend these headphones enough uh, I wouldn't have them as um, your primary gaming headset or daily drivers or whatever um, but I would recommend them having them as like a backup maybe in fact as your daily drivers uh, and as a backup gaming headset or just your portable gaming headset if you don't want to carry uh, your larger headset with you to LAN events and that kind of thing uh, because of the risk that you might break them uh, in transit whereas these are very small and compact and you know they're gonna last and they're gonna be able to take a beating uh, so yeah that was our review on the CM Storm Pitch in-ear gaming headphones uh, check out the written review which we provide down in the link in the description box below as well as the unboxing video the written review goes a lot more in depth into the individual components um, in the design on the CM Storm Pitch as well as the performance and conclusion uh, but other than that I'm Hal Thompson you've been watching another Hal Tech TV video please don't forget to subscribe go check out the website check out all the content we have recently started doing press releases and covering uh, new released products uh, that we don't actually have in for review uh, but have just been released by all of our affiliates uh, so yeah other than that I'm Hal Thompson you've been watching another Haltech TV video Please don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.